What would happen if the Earth suddenly stopped spinning? Our home planet is Earth. It is the only planet where life is known to exist and the only planet with a significant amount of water. It experiences blistering winds and cycled seasons. Have you considered what might happen if the Earth's rotation stopped? The good news is that we wouldn't fall off the Earth if its rotation halted. But there are other consequences. Welcome to Explained Earth. To know more about our Earth and the universe surrounding it, subscribe to this channel. Also, like and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our videos. In the 1951 movie The Day the Earth Stood Still, an extraterrestrial named Klaatu and his robot sidekick Gord use highly advanced alien technology to simultaneously shut down almost all of the electronics on Earth. Vehicles, factories, televisions, and other devices all stopped operating, and the world comes to an unsettling halt. What if, though, the film took its own title more literally? Imagine an alien with an even more potent weapon, one that might actually halt Earth's progress and the spinning of our planet. The Hollywood version of The Day the Earth Stopped Spinning would be far less benign. Even though we may not be aware of it, the planet's rotation supports some of Earth's most fundamental processes. In fact, if Earth were a stationary planet, humans most likely wouldn't be present. If Earth abruptly ceased rotating, the atmosphere, oceans, and everything else not anchored in place would continue to rotate, destroying everything on the planet's surface. Even slowing down to a stop for more than a minute would cause everything to experience a sideways acceleration of three quarters of Earth's gravity, making the direction down appear to be 38 degrees away from vertical. That would be sufficient to topple most buildings. The majority of our globe would become extremely hostile if it abruptly stopped rotating. The Earth rotates at almost 1,700 km per hour, and if our globe suddenly stopped, anything that isn't firmly connected to the bedrock would be moved. This is a result of motion's inertia, as previously mentioned. This is due to the fact that even though Earth's rotation has ceased, the atmosphere will continue to move at a speed of 1,700 km per hour, carrying us along with any large boulders, cars, or buildings that are on the ground. As a result, the entirety of Earth's biosphere will vanish. It would also change the 24-hour system into which we categorize existence. The 24 hours of the day will now equal 6 months. There will therefore be 6 months of daylight and 6 months of darkness. The side of the Earth that faces the Sun will experience extremely hot days, while the side that faces away from the Sun will have lethal winters. This would cause enormous storms to rage for a very long time. The Earth completes one full rotation on its axis every 23 hours, 56 minutes, and 4.9 seconds. According to Zimbelman, this translates to land traveling at the speed of around 1,100 miles per hour or 1,770 kilometers per hour, at the equator and zero rotational velocity at the poles. The air, water, and even the rocks along the equator would continue to move at this pace of 1,100 miles per hour even if the globe came to a sudden stop. The motion would scrape the surface, tearing it apart and hurling fragments into space and the upper atmosphere. How about angular momentum, though? Let's step back a moment. The product of an object's mass and velocity is its linear momentum, direction and speed. Due to linear momentum, a moving car's occupant will keep traveling forward if it suddenly stopped. The rotational equivalent of linear momentum is angular momentum. It is the result of the angular velocity and the moment of inertia, which is the force required to rotate a mass. When a quarterback throws the ball towards the wide receiver, it gains angular momentum. Zimbelman predicted that when Earth and its fragments continued on their course around the Sun, the pieces that broke off from the surface would spin again. The halo of shards would eventually be drawn back by the planet's gravitational attraction, which would have an unexpected outcome. Imagine it as a meteor slicing through the sky. The planet's gravitational force would drag any leftovers that ended up in the furthest reaches of the atmosphere and space to the surface, where they would have to crash and unleash an extreme amount of energy. According to Zimbelman, the crust would liquefy into a molten ocean of rock under the relentless assault of these fragments. Colliding shards would eventually be reabsorbed into the molten sea via a process known as acceleration. 
The majority of the water on the planet's surface will be vaporized as the result of the quick and devastating transformation, according to Zimbelman. However, some of this water may be absorbed into freshly cemented minerals, like olivine, even though most of it would be lost when it evaporated. In addition, not every fragment would be absorbed by acceleration. The moon's gravitational attraction would draw some of the planetary debris, which would then blast the Aegean satellite and cause countless further craters on its surface. The 24-hour days we're accustomed to would completely throw off our biological circadian rhythms. Regular variations in sunshine are necessary for the rhythmic cellular mechanism that instructs our bodies when to sleep and when to wake up to operate. The lives of many animals on Earth, from bees to trees, depend on circadian rhythms. Modifying these cycles might disturb typical behavioral habits. The rotation of the globe has an impact on Earth's atmospheric patterns as well. The way the air currents move would be significantly altered if the globe suddenly stopped rotating. Today's wind patterns have a big impact on how much rain falls and how hot it gets all around the globe. Any changes to the air currents may cause deserts to grow where forest ones did, or the frozen tundra may thaw and become habitable. Similar effects are already being felt, albeit on a much smaller scale, as climate change changes the world weather patterns. The outcome could be disastrous for creatures that rely on particular conditions. So if you don't click the subscribe button, the Earth will stop spinning. Just kidding. Or am I? It would still be disastrous even if it took a while to slow down. Ocean depths around the equator would decrease by 8 kilometers without the centrifugal force, as the waters would be drifting towards the poles. Earth's water would be split into two enormous polar oceans, separated by a belt of land in the middle because this is less than the depth of the ocean there. All of Antarctica would be submerged, as would be everything north of Spain. What would happen if it stops forever? Do you have any ideas? When the Earth is not rotating on its own axis, a day is equivalent to a year. Six months of daylight are received worldwide, progressively heating the Earth to well above 100 degrees Celsius. Any remaining lakes and rivers would boil away and be carried to the poles by ferocious winds as the vast center of the continent would become the hottest. Only a little sliver of land along the coast would support even the most basic forms of life. Hurricanes would no longer exist on an Earth that did not spin. Coriolis forces, which result from the planet's rotation, are what produces the enormous rotating storms. The spiraling lines and center eye that characterize a hurricane are the result of winds spinning in the northern hemisphere counterclockwise and clockwise respectively, as they are drawn into the low-pressure area of a developing storm. Now a quick question. Name a planet that doesn't rotate on its axis. Did you get the answer? The answer is that every planet rotates on its axis. Rotation is a byproduct of the process that creates planets and other celestial bodies. Hence, all worlds start off spinning. However, certain planets exhibit what astronomers refer to as tidal locking, where it appears as though they are not rotating. These are worlds with perpetual night and day sides because they always present the same face to their star. A planet's rotational rate can be gradually slowed down until it exactly fits its orbital period by gravitational interactions with its star. Though these worlds appear to be harsh environments, frozen on one side and cooked on the other, some scientists have hypothesized that life may yet manage to survive there. Some astronomers believe believe that the twilight zone of tidally locked worlds, close to where day turns to night, could be a favorable environment for extraterrestrial life. So tell me, what do you think about this? Can anything else happen? Let us know in the comment section down below. If you want to know more about our Earth and the universe surrounding it, subscribe to Explained Earth and we will tell you all about it. Tune in next week to learn all about it. Refer to other videos for more information about Earth.